Alam mo, ever since, uh, I, hindi pa ako nagumagratyo na sa Ateneo pa lang din ako. Opo. Lagi ko na naririnig yung pangalan mo. Wow, I didn't expect that. Super. <laughs> And wishing na makapunta ka nga sa Ateneo din. Paano ka ba nagsimula maglaro mag-volleyball? Oh, wow. Well, dati po kasi, gusto ko lang mag-aral, magbasa ng libro, ganun lang talaga. Yes, pala tayo. No? <laughs> ano, video games, yun lang talaga ginagawa ako dati. And um, talagang kinukulit lang ako ng uh, PE teacher ko na, Faith, parang sali ka, try mo naman. This was grade school ka. Grade school. And Ateneo Davao naman. I was grade 2. Kinukuha na ako. I was too young daw, sabi ng parents ko. Grade 2? Yeah. Grade wow! Two. Dati kasi I was asthmatic. So my parents were concerned na baka nga atakihan, ganyan. So, um, hinayaan mo na ako. Let me, like, uh, not do sports muna. But my dad, I don't know. Parang ngayon ko lang din na-realize kasi dati. Sinasama niya ako mag-jogging, mag-bike. So parang... Dahan-dahan niya ako, near ready for mm -hmm. it. And then, come grade 4 nga, ayun, sabi ng PE teacher ko na coach din, na, Tara Faith, ano, try mo na. And then, umabot sa point na yung coach na yon lumapit sa parents ko na, Sir, ma'am, baka pwede, try nyo lang po, ganyan. And ako, as in, I didn't want to, like, masakit yan, bola, masakit, masakit. <laughs> Tapos for one week, I just tried na, sali ako, sali-sali lang. Tapos, I complained to my dad about it. No? Dad, ang sakit talaga. Di ko, parang yeah. di ko kakayanin to. Ganyan. And he said naman na, sa una lang yan, tisin mo lang mawawala. Masasanay ka lang din. And then, nagulat na lang ako. Varsity na pala ako. Nasa part na ako ng listahan. Tapos ko, oh, dad, kasali na pala ako. And then, that's really it. Na parang my parents, ayun, they just wanted me to try something new. And then, I learned to love it. Yeah. So, paano ka nag-transition from Ateneo to NU? Na-recruit ka ni Coach Babes? Or uh, you guys, as a family, went to Manila? Okay, so, the whole story okay. about it. We have to hear the whole story. <laughs> Nakasali ako sa palaro wow. at that time. So, this was in Dumaguete. And that's when I actually met Coach Goryeb. Yeah, Coach Roger. Yeah, I met him there. He saw me play and he thought, High school ako. I was only grade 6. Oh, di ba? <laughs> Siguro ganun ka nakatangkad ngayon. So, ganyan ka nakatangkad. The one who really recruited me naman for to high go school, here yeah. for high school was um, Coach Edgar Baroga. So, he was a coach in NU. Yeah. Men's naman. Boys, actually. And then, uh, syempre, I went back to Davao. I was set to like stay in Davao. And then, we got a call from someone NU ganyan na uh, they tried to get me, yes. ganyan, and then I get to visit and you and I didn't know that there was UAAP na pala for high school. When I found out na may UAAP pala in, yun nga, high school, sabi ko, oh, may ganun pala. Mm -hmm. Kasi, syempre, di naman ako exposed masyado sa volleyball. Yes. So, buti na lang, TV. Yes. Ayan. And then, syempre, na-witness ko. It was you playing naman. Oh my God. Magka-batch tayo. <laughs> Don't forget that. <laughs> Sabi ko, wow, parang ganyan, ka pal ganyan pala ka big yung volleyball mm. at that time. So, my first time watching you play naman, it was through the TV lang. Sabi ko, syempre, I was like, innocent lang. Ano to? Ganyan, UAP. Ano to? Anong season yan? <laughs> There's a one step pala closer to what I want to uh, be in. Like, I want to play in the UAP. So, that, That was the transition naman. So, from Davao, napunta ako dito sa Manila mm -hmm. for high school. You bagged so many awards also <laughs> back in, in NU, yeah. diba? And then, from NU, you went to Ateneo. Mm -hmm. So, how did that happen naman? Mm -hmm. When Coach Roger approached you also in Pero, you nandun na ba sa mind mo na parang, oh my God, I really wanted to go to Ateneo. Bakit mo napili din yung Ateneo? Well, at, it was always at the back of my head naman na Ateneo talaga yung dream school ko. Kasi first, roots eh. Doon na ako nang galing. Yeah. Na parang may values and parang yung core talaga natutunan ko sa Ateneo. And I wanna go back to that. And I think yung NU was like a detour lang. Mm -hmm. na it was just another uh, road untaken na, oh, baka 
dito gagaling ako pagaling ako work lang it was a really great naman uh, seasons with NU at that time and going to Ateneo what really made me go choose to go there is my dream na I want to have a degree from Ateneo de Manila and of course uh, bonus na yung mga kalaro pa ako yes. under that name but alam mo I'm just wondering kung ano yung first impression mo ano yung expectations mo mm-hmm. sa bago ka pumasok ng Ateneo sa volleyball program nila and in in school mm-hmm. for sure expect ko na there will be a change of culture iba yung uh, let's say character of the people around me so yun lang ayun nangyari yeah. uh, na culture shock ako na wow ganito pala lalo na yung Orsem of course ibang klase yung Orsem sa Ateneo Okay just to explain Orsem kasi we gathered all the freshies Freshen. diba yeah, fresh Meron class. tayong 3 day orientation mm-hmm. before mag start yung classes and then yeah. doon mo mamimit kung sino yung mga blockmates mo mm-hmm. they will tour you in the campus yeah. and then makakahalubilo mo talaga may concert pa at the, on the and third then, day yeah, yeah, yeah. So kaya parang makikita mo na yung just ng buong college life mo mm. pag nag orsem So, how was your experience? Well, at first, it was really overwhelming kasi people were dancing, yeah. were shouting. Sabi ko, wow, akala ko orientation na yung parang oh, ganito, ganyan, dito yung blah, blah, yes. blah, ganyan, ganon, normal, set up, nakaupo lang, yes. pala sumasayaw. Yes. Sabi ko, oh, okay, so overwhelming. Yes. But then, I got to enjoy it kasi nga, I was also with uh, my other teammates din naman uh, on the same um, block din, ganyan. Yes. So, Uh, I was happy. I got to uh, share that experience with them naman. Sino na bang naabutan mo pagpasok mo ng Ateneo? Uh, sila Ate Jules, uh, Ate oh Pongay, sila na Danny. Sila yung senior, seniors yeah. mo na sila. Yeah. Ayun. And then, syempre, si Ate Kat bumalik for her fifth year. Uh, Ate Jo. Ate Jamie, Jamie also. Yeah. So, uh, syempre... Ako naman nahi ako kasi parang these people are like the people who I just see playing, watching them play lang, yeah. and then I actually got to be with them. So it was more than nahi. I was really grateful lang na I'm here. Na mm-hmm. wow, I'm here na pala. Parang what just happened? Parang ganon yung naging feelings ko. And um, I knew naman na it was gonna be really hard the program, lalo na pero Sino ang pinaka-close mo or mm-hmm. naging close mo sa Ateneo players? Well, at that time, other than my batchmates, which is sila Roma, Joan Roma Ari. is also from uh, NU. NU. Yeah, with yes, me. Yeah. So, other than my batchmates, it was Ate Pongay, actually. Kasi she's my ball partner. So, talaga every day kami yung nagpupukan, ganyan. Oh, wow. Yeah, so... I was really glad I actually got a got to form a relationship with her then. <laughs> And what's your favorite part of training? Kasi syempre it's something new to you, diba? That twice a day training. Yeah. And in the morning, it's more of a conditioning training. In yeah, the yeah, afternoon, yeah. it's more of ball practice, diba? Mm-hmm. So, ano yung love but hate mo na, na part ng training? Kasi nung high school kami, we only train once. Okay. Ayan. So, pagdating doon, talagang... I guess my body then na, nanibago and all that. So uh, it was really hard. It was really a hard first year for me. Para ilang beso ako nagkasakit just to like uh, keep up with training, with school. Yes. Ayan. So um not a shock siya, but yun nga, talagang I knew I kind of expected na the first year would be really the most difficult year oh, for me. Yeah. But ang hate ko naman pag conditioning was The oval. Oh my God. Alam mo, susunugin talaga natin yung oval na yan. <laughs> so, sumpa ko yun. Ah, no! I, I think one thing na every volleyball player mm-hmm. who played for Ateneo, Ateneo, na inabutan yung oval, hatest place nila. Oval, the yeah. The blue oval. Yes, yes talaga, no? sobra. And uh, even though I hate it, parang dun ko din nakikita like who are the people na parang who reassures me na hindi kayo mo yan, ganyan. It was nice to have someone parang has who has my back that yes. time. Kahit, kahit it's a run, parang iba kasi yung experience talaga. Siyempre, iba rin yung adjustment pagdating. So ano yung tingin mong natulong din sa'yo ni Coach O mm-hmm. pagdating sa college? Well, it was more of how 
he made me mentally stronger. Mm, Kasi coming true. from high school, akala ko mentally tough na ako. Ay. May palang kaka-tough pa yeah. pagdating ng college. Kasi nga, um, it was more challenging. Kasi nga, physically, uh, mentally, it was really different. He, re- he, he was really the one who pushed me to my limits. We were also excited to watch you play during the UAAP yeah. on your rookie <laughs> year then. And then, biglang nagka-pandemic. Anong na-feel mo nung, nung nangyari yun? Uh, nung na-realize namin na, okay, wala na mukhang wala na talaga. Yeah. Parang lahat kami, parang napaluha na lang. Kasi grabe yung training na pinagdaanan namin. Saka yun yung time na talagang bumalik yung mga seniors nyo. Yeah. You're aiming to really go for the championship, di ba? Mm-hmm. So, paano? It was so ba- frustrating kasi yeah. wala kami magagawa about it. Eh. So, wala. Parang, ang hirap lang din tanggapin na, what? As Ganun? Yeah. What? Nabitan kayo. Yeah, nabitan. sobrang nabitan talaga. After two years pa, nagkaroon ulit ng UAAP. Yeah. Right? Mm-hmm. So, ano yung mentality nyo pagkabalik ng UAP and ikaw na halos yung senior noon when you, yeah. get, you guys get back after <laughs> yeah. the pandemic. So, ako, like, wow, from rookie to senior. Right away, yeah, So, sabi exactly. ko, wow, ready ba ako? Mm. Kasi parang wala akong naging, wala na akong guide on yes. how to do this. Ah. Eh, parang, I, ha- I was forced to, like, grow up talaga, yes. to lead. I just have to show what I can, like, do do the performance that I can because that's how I got there naman eh. I just played my game mm-hmm. and ayun lalabas lang din yan ang nasa isip ko lang okay do what I do in training stick to the game plan and ayun results will just will just come <laughs> alam mo there's one thing siguro our batch lang na talagang pinagkaiba in a way mm-hmm. kasi kami medyo andun kami sa era na Starting pa lang yung volleyball, yeah. the social media, pataas pa lang, even the viewers, medyo dumadami pa lang sila. Pero ikaw yung nasa transition year na all eyes on you. Oh, yeah. And mm-hmm. all the hype nasa, nasa inyo. You've shown also that you can be someone na talagang uh, ia-idolize ng mga kabataan. Wow. Uh... <laughs> Well, all my life kasi parang yun nga yung lagi kong na, laging na-feed yeah. sa akin. And I guess the way I handled it was acknowledging na may binigay si Lord sa akin na skills and gift na is worthy sharing. And since there are already eyes on me naman, why not like showcase what God gave me, mm-hmm. di ba? And instead of thinking of being pressured to perform, parang... Lagi ko na lang din naiisip na I think it's best na just parang ilabas ko lang laro ko for, for for his glory and okay. let's just see what happens kasi it's syempre parang negative kasi when we hear the pressure di ba yes. but never ko talagang naisip na never pressure ba ako like yeah. not really hindi kasi siya mabigat for me i guess Nisip ko lang din kasi na if I show if I show my talent, meet someone jan na like makaka appreciate, makaka appreciate, ayan bakama inspire din yes. maglaro. Tapos makikilala din yung volleyball, yes. like how you uh, yung batch batch nyo na nagstart na dahan dahan na gumag lumalaki yung volleyball. Bakak through my performance through what I show on the court, bakak ganon din yung maging effect. Oo naman. Pero hindi kasi may iwasan, di ba? Na makakita, makarinig ka ng mga criticisms. Oh, for sure. Di ba? Lagi naman. So, if there's one thing na hindi mo makakalimutan na criticism na sa buong volleyball career mo uh-huh. until now, what would that be? Well, when it comes to like social media, yes. I can hear what yes. you say, I can see what you say, but hindi ako naapektuhan. Like, okay. okay, that's what you see. You don't know what I do every day. Okay. But, really hurts kapag yung the people you're working with, yes. yung laging mong kasama, sila yung may masabing, ang banok mo naman, hindi ka nag-iisip, ganyan. So, uh, yun nga, na nasabihan akong, like, I don't wanna say the word, but like, uh, nasabihan akong, uh, ang bobo mo naman, ganyan. Parang, hindi ka nag-iisip, ganyan. So, 
Uh, yun naman yung, well, someone I'm close with told me that. So, kaya ako nasaktan. Ayan, and then, another thing then is, parang nasabihan din ako na, kala mo ba kung sino ka, ganyan, parang, but naman but mo laging ginagawa yan kasi yes. wala na akong ibang ginawa kundi like to try to like really work try to improve myself and it hurts but yun nga i think talagang darating naman sa point na ganun and something na kailangan lang to like go through and hopefully i could grow through that then so, alam mo ako yung naiiyak <laughs> syempre oh. Um, the road to where I want to be, yeah. it won't be easy naman. And like, uh, I think my perseverance will, people will see it as parang, um, I don't know, maybe... Mm. Don't cry! <laughs> <laughs> but yun nga, uh, okay, I need... <laughs> Sorry, wait. <laughs> Ayan. It must be so hard. Oh yeah, naman. Um, I, I don't mind, um... <laughs> I'm so sorry! It's okay, Ate. Ne, pero, alam mo, there are times then na, uh, so you're just doing your best then talaga, giving everything you've got. And there are people na, hindi lang nakikita din yung mga ganang bagay. Oh, yeah. Diba? And I think more than that, it's really tiring to prove yourself. Oh, to, yeah. <laughs> to everyone. Wait, is it heavy to play with all these things? I mean, like, syempre, at the end of the day, you just really want to play volleyball. Oh, of but course. How, did, how do you get in the court? Mm -hmm. How do you mindset also? Para kahit pa paano, mabawasan yung bigat mm -hmm. na dinadala mo. Well, me, the way I handled it was I took myself uh, away from that situation, which is, I don't really um, expose myself to social media at most times. And that's one way of also being able to, like, just play volleyball. Yeah. The mentality of it all. Just to focus on that one thing, like one thing at a time, per, per day, ganyan. It makes me stay genuine then, kung, with who I am. Yes. Parang being authentic with um, what I showed then. But do you feel like you're missing out on something? I don't really think I'm missing out naman. Important sa akin. And sure, I get to see these, all these personalities on social media and all that, but I'm actually content with who I'm with naman, with my family, my friends, my um, people who I care about. Contented na ako with mm -hmm. those. So I'm, I don't think I'm missing out naman. Oh, that's nice. We have so much expectations from ourselves, na, diba? Mm -hmm. And there are a lot of people who expect more from us as well. I think one thing na, that works for me din naman is to find another thing to do mm -hmm. or hobby. Oh, uh, yeah. Para at least kahit pa paano, dun ma natin na release yung mga emotions natin. Kasi volleyball used to be our outlet, uh -huh. diba? It, yeah. it was our. Okay, battery pa ko, I'll play volleyball. volleyball. Or nakakainas naman sa school, I'll play volleyball. Nagkakaroon na rin tayo ng stress because of the sport. Dahil, syempre, nag-iba nag na, nag-grow mm -hmm. na din yung sport. Mm -hmm. thing I would suggest din siguro, you can detach also yourself, try different hobbies para makahinga oh, yeah. ka din. And eventually, know yourself even better. And eventually, ma-apply natin yung mga learnings na yun pag balik natin sa volleyball. Uh, I think one yeah. thing I, I tried is golf then. Yeah. Sa so golf kasi, medyo ang bilis maka-frustrate. Mm. And now, in volleyball, kasi we've been doing volleyball for so long. Yeah. Tapos hindi natin siya matama every single time. You always ask yourself na parang, ano ba yan? Every day ko na ito ginagawa, pero hindi ko parang siya nagagawa all the time or hindi yeah. ako ganun ka-consistent. Yeah. So, because of golf naman, naiisip ko, Parang kailangan mo lang maging patient, kailangan mo habaan yung presensya man, bigyan ng liwi. At the end of the day, we're not ro robots da naman. Mm -mm. And if you want nakasama, just text me. Oh, you know, <laughs> I'm just here. Okay. Uh, yeah, I got you. Again, this is my favorite segment uh -huh. of the show, <laughs> the mystery box. Kung siyempre mauna yung guest. Okay. Okay. <laughs> ano ba dala mo for me? 
So, what I brought is my first satin New Jersey. So, this reminds me of you. You're one of the first people na inspired me actually to really go big and go you to play in UAP. So, this one I credit talaga for you. <laughs> Tahil John, akin na lang yan. <laughs> thank you, thank you again for alam mo, choosing the Ateneo way. Wow, the Ateneo way. Yes. So, ako naman. You're a star. Oh, <laughs> oh di ba natawa siya? Ang <laughs> cute. <laughs> okay. Why star? Kasi I feel like kayo talaga yung batch na nagbibigay ng liwa ng liwanag. <laughs> <laughs> Niwanag ng ano, hindi. You guys are stars on your own way. Oh, yeah. You don't have to compare or be someone else. You just have to be you and you're, you're, and you're, you're gonna be your own star. Kasi uh, grabe yung future nyo. Super bright din talaga, like the stars. Ganda din ang future ng Philippine Volleyball because of you guys. And I hope, dahil dyan, meron pa ako, syempre ba? Oh. Maging moon kayo. Na lagi lang andyan. Di ba ang muna hindi nawawaw? <laughs> Nakikita natin yung mga players come and go, di ba? Mm-hmm. So, sana maging moon kayo sa full of stars na mga players na ito na kayo yung magsistay and kayo ang talaga magbibigay ng bright future for Philippine Volleyball. Wow. <laughs> Faith, di ko alam, sobrang dami ng layers ng pressure na binibigay din sa'yo ng mga tao mm-hmm. back then when you were in college from being the Buhotera, being one big faith, comparing mm-hmm. also you to your batchmates in different schools, yeah. and then comparing you also to other players who played for Ateneo mm-hmm. na parang ngayon ko lang din alaman na parang nako-compare pala din tayo. So, yeah. I've never really had that opportunity also to go back to Ateneo those times din naman. Kasi parang, it's just so weird kasi nga siguro nagka-pandemic. Yeah. And then, so, during your time na nag-UAP, parang nakakanood lang ako ng mga few games kasi nasa, nasa, pro, nasa pro na din kami. <laughs> so, yeah. I, f- I feel like, Parang hindi kami mga seniors nyo, hindi rin kami nakakabalik sa inyo. So, we're very sorry also if we're, you feel like we're not, we're not there also for you guys. But, alam nyo, we're very, very proud of you girls. <laughs> Ang bigat! Di ko alam kung paano nyo na, na harap din yung mga ganon. You guys are very strong. Wow. And now, and you guys were able to still perform kahit ganun, ganun yung mga struggles, mm-hmm. obstacles na hinarap ninyo. So, hands down sa inyo. And sa lahat ng mga kabats nyo, yeah. there's one thing na learning mo sa, mm-hmm. sa Ateneo journey mo. Ano yun na, na, na apply mo ngayon sa I think, pro career mo? Uh, I think the mentality na if you work hard, you'll win. Hindi kasi always true yun eh. Even though I put in extra work, hindi palaga reassurance na you'll win. So it's just made me nga stronger as an athlete na believing na I'll get that I'll get the chip one day yes. just work. Winning is not only about getting the championship. Mm-hmm. When you work hard, when you work smart, I think that's winning already. Yeah. So I guess yung mga perspective na ganun, yun yung mga kailangan nating ibigay sa self din natin para magkaroon din tayo ng leeway to grow more and yeah. be more. As Ito. Ateneans, we have to be more all yeah. the time, diba? <laughs> so, yeah. So, you don't be too hard on yourself. Of course, naman. Yeah. yeah. You're very young. You've served the country. You've served your school. And now, you're in the pro. What else? What more? Ano pa yung gusto mong ma-achieve as, as fate na speros? Of course, uh, seeing... There are many Filipinos going overseas na rin. Aww. Gusto ko din sumunod someday sana na, yun nga, syempre, work hard muna and someday baka maabot ko din. Yeah. When was your first time? Actually, back in 2014, I was 14 years old. So played for Philippines under 17 in Thailand. Doon ko na realize na, oh, may ginito namang ibang you know, volleyball then yes. pala outside the country. I've always wanted to play for Japan talaga. Mm. Yeah. So different kasi. So I really want to adapt their style of play. It's more on speed talaga and talagang more on tactical sila. Yes. Very smart 
maglaro and I want to adapt that kasi I know na I have a strong body, I have a good conditioning program, but yun nga I want to challenge myself more and more the the smart play. Yung small details na yun could actually make a big difference. Yes. Yung mga gusto ko pa i-improve on myself naman. If you have uh, three wishes, ano yung yeah. gusto mong uh, marating pa ng Philippine Volleyball? I guess what I really want is maybe there's unity into trying to make Philippine Volleyball stronger. Like the national team stronger. Like every one and everything Someday, sana mag-align, we could actually, you know, be at the same level as the international level. What level that is, I hope we could reach that through being one as here in the Philippine volleyball. And that's our wish. That's everybody's wish. And hopefully, mangyari yan. Yeah. I have one last question. If you have a dream teammate, <laughs> Who would that be? That would be you, of course. Ako, <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, of course. Iba pa rin na someone I idolize, someone I look up to. To be actually on the same court. Lalo na um, representing the country. That would be one dream come true. That's something I've always wanted to ask. Is, do you always have that feeling of responsibility to like be someone we could all look up to. Oh, wow. That's a very heavy and loaded question. We were just so lucky na abuta namin yung volleyball as pure, as simple as it is. Yeah. So, hindi ko na-feel or walang nagpa-feel sa akin mm-hmm. na I have a responsibility to be someone I'm not. Yeah. yeah. So, it's just that I think at the end of the day, people will love you. People will like you. And people will support you kung sino ka. Hopefully, sa journey natin, mm-hmm. happiness yung nahahanap natin. Hindi lang tayo nagpo-focus dun sa end goals. Tsaka, at end of the day, I super enjoyed, I, I still enjoy playing volleyball. Mm-hmm. I still find that feeling na I wanna be better. Mm-hmm. I wanna improve. You don't have to feel pressured also. Just let it all out. Mm-hmm. And... Just be the fate na sparrows that people will love to see. It's easier said than done. I would also feel like may mga times din naman na bakit di ko ba nagagawa to? Bakit hindi ko nagagawa to? Pero at the end of the day, babalik ka lang. Bakit mo ba ginagawa to? Because we love volleyball. Because we love the, our teammates. Mm-hmm. We love our coaches. We trust them. Yeah. And we want to play for them. So I guess... That's the most important thing na we have to always remind ourselves, why are we doing it? Why do we play? Why we play, di ba? Because we love the sport. Faith, maraming maraming salamat talaga. I really never thought na ganito, kailalim din yung magiging conversation natin. Uh, I never thought na yung mga pinagdadaanan nyo pala, your generation, ganito rin kabigat. Hopefully, we can be here also for you guys. Mm-hmm. And we're just one call away. Yes. If you need anything, <laughs> we'll see you on the other side of the court for now. And yeah. hopefully, we could be 